The me story seems to filter life into binary code. Experiences apparently reinforce or refute this conceptual bundle of beliefs and memories called me. This imagined center, this dreamt solidity seems to constantly fend for safety and security. Invariably based in ideas of past and future. My black and white world of yes or no, good or bad, better or worse can feel so tight. Something like a burning in the chest, a closing of the throat, shoulders hunched forward in defense against something out there, often indistinct. Pleasure is sought out and grasped tightly to try and keep, displeasures called wrong and desperately pushed away. My personal journey seeks an eventual, ultimate state of fulfillment, always somewhere else, often as a future arrival, recreation of a fantasized past moment or ideal state to maintain. In spiritual seeking, my personal journey can even be the story of one day when there is no longer me, self, ego, etc. Me is time. Me is becoming. Me is better than or not good enough. Me is hierarchy. Me is separation. Separation is dreamt. And there's nothing wrong with any of it. All there is, is this. This, here and now without there or other. This, before words. All there is, is home. Even the sense of separation even the fairy tale of seeking and finding home, even the story of me. It is all wholly and completely what it is. So there is nowhere to get, no need to get away from the feeling of needing to get somewhere, no need to get away from the feeling of needing to get away and no one to do it. There is no personal evolution that can bring completeness. Already this is completeness. Thoughts, feelings, sensations, desires, stories, dreams, simply free falling through free fall. It is all boundless centerless spontaneity already. This is already unconditional love. This is unconditional love, you-ing, me-ing, tree-ing, sky-ing, be-ing. This is Unconditional love. Man is born when he knows his own.